So for this demo, we're looking at secure borderless networks, and clearly security being a key element of what Cisco delivers as part of our borderless networks architecture. So joining me is Parag. Parag, thanks for uh, being here. Sure. Now, I understand that uh, we're demoing some things around security and mobility. So talk to me a little bit about what some of the customer pain points are that uh, drive us towards these type of solutions. So customers are mainly interested you know, in how, how do we deliver all these services like security, mobility, and different sort of services securely on the smartphone. Mm -hmm. So those are the key pain points for the customers, right? So mobile devices, a whole proliferation of these devices, how to secure and manage those Absolutely. with services. Yes. OK. Now, what's Cisco's solution here to do this? So Cisco, we are introducing the solution called SUMA, which is okay. Secure Unified Mobility Architecture. Okay. And it's an architecture to deliver security, mobility, unified communications as a part of single architecture using Cisco integrated services as router as a platform. Okay. What are the elements of, of Sumo? So uh, I'll just highlight some of the key elements here. So okay. we have, we want to show some of the six uh, key elements mm -hmm. here. Uh, so as you see, simplified deployment is uh, nothing but you you go to and walk to an AT&T store, mm -hmm. you buy a new iPhone. Mm -hmm. So this iPhone initially is not provisioned with VPN, Wi-Fi. You don't have all these settings on the smartphones. Right. So how do you easily deploy all these settings on your smartphone? So as you see here, a uh, user just logs on to a website. He okay. enters his credentials, and it's like very simple to deploy for him. So it's just going to prompt him, you know, install your VPN settings, exchange settings. Uh -huh. So in that way, the phone is enterprise ready. Now so these are actual screenshots of the smartphone, yes, it's and you're kind of walking us through the uh, the process here. Exactly. Yeah. So these are some of the screenshots from the iPhone and the how how the provisioning would look like. Okay. Uh, but we are supporting all the smartphones like Nokia's, Windows Mobile, Androids, uh -huh. uh, iPads, all these devices. Interesting. And the idea is that user just clicks, you, you know, enters his username, password, uh -huh. he clicks install, and he has all these enterprise services straight away over the 3G network onto a smartphone. Right. So uh, coming back to this point, so this was simplified deployment. Okay. And then uh, you have like secure connectivity, which is like the client agnostic VPN. Yep. So as I said, it doesn't matter what smartphone are you using. You might be using Windows Mobile. You yep. have the ability to use the smartphone that you want and use the built-in VPN client on the smartphone and right. connect back to the enterprise. So that's the key element here. So I've got security out to the mobile device as exactly. well through a VPN. Yes, exactly. Okay. And uh, we help some, uh, we do some advanced things like proximity routing. So say you are going back to China, so you don't want to connect back to the data centers back in San Jose. Right. So how do you do that in the most efficient way? Because that's going to give you efficient services. Okay. So uh, that's proximity routing for you, wherein you know you get connected to the closest data center and get access to those services there. Okay. Now I understand we've got, so I see kind of the smartphones here, so we've got a bit of a demo. Yes. Uh, now I think you had a cloud-based demo and then an enterprise-based demo. So talk to me about the cloud-based demo. What is it? Absolutely. So here you see uh, mobile IP and mobile VPN. Okay. So, uh, uh, mobile IP could be used in two scenarios. It could be used in a cloud-based scenario versus an enter enterprise-based scenario. Mm -hmm. In cloud-based scenario, when you connect to clouds like WebEx, mm -hmm. Skype, you really don't need VPN. Right. But you still need the persistence of connectivity. So if sure. you move from one network to another, you want to make sure that you know your tunnels don't drop, and you want to I use see. the most cost-effective network available. Okay. For instance, in Europe, the most cost-effective network would be wireless LAN. Sure. Versus well, some other country, it might be the 3G network that's cost-effective. So it should be all seamless. So the, that's the cloud-based solution. And uh, the non-cloud-based solution, which is the enterprise solution, in that uh -huh. case, you, uh, you can get all these video services, you can get the voice services inside your enterprise. Okay. Uh, delivered onto your smartphone, and you still don't get con disconnected. So it's like an always-on VPN tunnel. I see. I so see. your VPN tunnel never drops. Now, how does this manifest itself on the device? I'll initiate a Skype call from the Nokia phone okay. to this iPhone, uh, and we, we'll talk about more about persistence and mobile, mobile IP and how we don't drop the Skype okay. calls. So this is how we initiate the Skype call. So we've called, we've connected to the cloud, Skype cloud, and we are calling from the Skype device to the okay. iPhone. So I'm just going to pick up this call, and we see that the call is connected. Now there's a call between the two. Yes, now there's a call between the two. And this Nokia device is connected over the Wi-Fi network, okay. and the, this one is connected over 3G. Okay. Uh, so let's go over the Nokia device to the mobile IP client, which is connected to the uh, integrated services router. And we are going here, and we see that the client is registered to, uh, to the ISR. And we can go to the options and see the status. And we see that it's connected over NGSEC 13, okay. uh, which is the Wi-Fi uh, wireless LAN network connectivity. Okay. Now we'll go and disable the wireless LAN connectivity from the group. So now we'll remove this access point from here. So we are removing the Wi-Fi access point from the group. And we still see that the call didn't drop. And if we go back, 
we see that the mobile IP client is still registered and in the status we see it's being uh, it's registered over the, the directly over the AT&T network mm -hmm. and uh, the call is still not dropping so it's all over the AT&T network right now so uh, that's the point that the Skype to Skype call didn't drop even after uh, doing this whole thing. Okay. Now what happened here so the call moved from Wi-Fi like, on to 3G cellular and and using the mobile IP so you're I not see. you don't even need VPN in okay. that case so you could be using WebEx uh -huh. over the cloud and still not get this kind so of in this scenario potentially what could have happened is I could have just lost Wi-Fi connectivity yes and the network uh, is automatically making that yes. uh, handoff yes so you, if okay. you lose your Wi-Fi connectivity you use your IP address right so if you use lose your IP then your uh, connectivity should have been lost great but using mobile IP we make sure that you get a single IP address always on okay and very if just go back to the status of this and just check the status. You see the call is now on the AT&T network which is being registered, that. right? Okay. So uh, the call didn't drop, the Skype call is still on. So okay. this is like the cloud-based uh, demonstration that we wanted now, to Now the enterprise side of things, what happens here? So in enterprise side of things, I'll just disconnect the Skype call okay. and uh, we'll go back to the main demo. Uh, I'm going to launch VPN from here, from okay. my iPhone. So in this case, you are outside the enterprise. I'm outside the enterprise. Yes. Okay. And you are launching your VPN from the iPhone. Okay. And it's getting connected to the call manager. Okay. And there will be a BlackBerry device which is connected to your branch. Okay. So we are assuming there is a person working in the branch connected to the call manager express which runs off the integrated yep. services router. And there is another guy running, you know, in the main data center. Okay. He's off premises, launching VPN off, and again getting connected but to. But both are on uh, on premise. Yeah, both are off premise. Both are off premise. Yes. Okay. One okay. is in the branch, another is in the data center. I see. Okay. Right? Uh, so we'll just launch a VPN of the 3G network. Okay. And let's use a BlackBerry in this case. So VPN is launched. I'm going to turn on my Cisco mobile client. Okay. And all these services, as you see, the mobile IP gateway, the VPN gateway, the call manager express, everything runs over the integrated services router, or, right. which is the second generation ones. Okay. So this is now connecting over VPN. So now think about the scenario. The guy is trying to call back to a branch in China. You're still not ending up using your minutes. Right. You still make calls over the data card. Over the network. Yes. Over the IP network. Let's initiate a call here. So now again, we're calling from yes. the iPhone. Over the data network over using network. VPN. Uh -huh. And calling back to the BlackBerry, which is registered to the call manager express. Right. OK. And as you see, there is an incoming call here. And it even recognizes your name, so it knows yes, the call ID correct. of where you're calling from. Yes, and the call is connected now, okay. uh, and it recognizes you know, the caller ID, and it's like a total enterprise service. And it Great. gives you a single number reach, so the probability of reaching the person on one go is much higher, right? Yeah, so you are absolutely. always available. Great. Well, this has been uh, very interesting and uh, great to see how uh, we combine security with mobility and obviously to meet rich services across a host of mobile devices. So, Parag, thanks for your time. Thanks, thanks a lot. And again, what you've seen here is secure borderless networks in action. So from Cisco Live, thanks for tuning in.